Hey Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Zero. I'm gonna do your June 2021 general love reading. Who is coming? What are they bringing? And what's happening overall in your life? We will talk about it here. Keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me if you're interested in a personal reading. Contact me on my email address and Instagram link that is given in the description box. Be careful from the scammers and fake people. This is the two authentic ways that you can reach out to me. Okay? Sun, moon, rising or any planets if you have in Leo, you can watch this reading. Let's start your reading. Leo. What's happening and who is coming? Let's see. Okay, finally. So we have an Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. The Emperor. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, the Magician. Queen of Cups. Okay, I, I heard when I saw this combination, I was like, someone is manifesting you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Loving it. We have the lovers. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Exciting energy. Finally. I love this energy. The moon. Look at this all major arcana. And we have the high priestess. Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening here? Eight of wands and ace of pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the queen of wands. Nine of Swords, hmm, Queen of Pentacles, a lot of Queens here, Judgment, and Page of Swords. I feel like this is Page of Swords and Judgment talking about your, your spirit guides, your, your angels, your guides are watching you. They're guiding you, I'm hearing, wow, they're guiding you toward this person. Okay, so you could be dealing with Aries, Taurus. Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, any water sign, because I'm seeing th three water signs, okay? Then I'm seeing Gemini, Gemini, heavy Gemini, could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, heavy water, heavy fire, okay? Uh, especially Aries and Sag. And could be any earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You look, you have the two aces on the table here. So this is a, a brand new person. I would go with the new person. It's totally brand new person. I don't know if you're attracting someone from the past. So this could be a brand new beginning. But I feel with the Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles, this is something new. This is something exciting. Igniting the passion in you. Driving you crazy. Making you more passionate. Excited. Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles, this is universe is handing, you know, this, this new beginning for you. And you can see all these chakras here. So I feel like this is definitely a very healthy connection. Finally, a healthy connection for you. Okay. That you have been manifesting. You have been waiting for. Look, we have the magician and we have the high priestess. This is two powerful people. So you both are great manifestors and you both are manifesting each other. So one person could be a Christian, does not have to be. Uh, and one person I'm hearing could be a Muslim. You are them. Uh, I don't know whoever for this reading is, but definitely one person is Muslim and the other person is like Christian. So this is like two different people and different background and culture. Does not have to be. This could be a same gender sex for some of you because we have two queens here. Now we have the magician and the high priestess. Look at this. We have the feminine energy and the masculine energy. So there is a definitely a mixture of, uh, or maybe the, this is the same person. They have a lot of uh, masculine and feminine energy in themselves. But I feel like this is you. You both are manifesting each other, right? So I don't know, it's intentionally or unintentionally. It's like you both are manifesting each other. You both are on your, on your, in your high vibration. You're meeting the person who is meeting your high vibration. This is someone who is coming to get you. For some of you with the high priestess and moon card coming up together, I feel like you have a deep knowing or inner knowing. You could be seeing this person in your dreams. Again, I'm telling you, your spirit guides are guiding you toward this person. Whoever this new person that you're attracting, or you may be having some type of dreams, you having some type of uh, intuition, 
powerful intuition around this person and around this connection it's like you both are mirroring each other so this is a union of two people who are in a high vibration and who are soulmates or who are meant to be together we have the two aces so you both could be star seeds you both could be very powerful and spiritual people you both could be from different fields and different background but you both are very well known in your work in your community or you both are could be doing some stuff spiritual stuff or healing or healers okay i feel this is a very masculine person and this person is i feel like you both are very attractive people i feel like this will be a very powerful couple obviously because we're dealing with the leo so this is like a person who is your match your perfect match and matching you on your vibration because with the emperor and the magician came up together and it's a wands oh my god this is um i would say a powerhouse this person they're very very masculine I'm, I'm feeling like this person is a very i'm getting this person's spirit animal is a dragon they are very very sexy um they're very excited they're very romantic but i feel like more likely this person's um this person is highly sexual and sensual in the way but they're not it's not like they are just giving this um, sex or they're doing sex with everyone no this person is very picky with the magician energy they're very picky who to let their in in their life or let their space in because this is someone who just also do sex with the people or they're being they do the sex or they they do dating people when they feel like this is the one for me okay so this is someone who is highly highly um i would say a masculine and they're very picky i'm not saying that it's in a good, bad way because they're not egoistic people this is someone who is in a high vibration this is someone who knows their worth with this magician and emperor this is someone who knows their worth their value and they know that who to pick and who to not they could have a lot of options but they don't care about that this is someone who really really think that there should be a lot of attraction and passion but this is also a person who is going to give you you know like something solid like you have a strong potential with this person and i feel with this you could have a strong pisces moon in your chart or any water moon or they could have a water moon so this person i feel like mixture of fire and water again i'm picking up fire and water so talking about twin flame soulmate uh it's like you're both souls on a fire i feel like it's a fire uh, this could be a fire or earth sign combination here this could be someone who's a capricorn heavy capricorn in their chart or taurus or virgo but i'm not picking i'm strongly feeling pisces cancer or scorpio moon here like very one person is very like a doer type of a person and the other person is like a very silent person like do the things but in a silent way and i feel like this is a feminine energy more feminine you know queen of cup this person sees like you're very beautiful you're very attractive you're goddess i uh, this person maybe feel like you're putting the spell on them okay um they feel like you are already putting the spell on them or maybe you're already doing the spell on this person because i feel like you both are attracting each other you both are using your tools to attract each other right so you know better what are you doing to attract this person or you could be doing some spells to attract your true soulmate um there is a moon here so there's a sense of uh some definitely deep emotions uh i feel this person could be hiding their emotions with the queen of cups and the moon and with the high priestess this could be someone that they have a deep emotions for you deep love for you but they're not letting you in like they're not expressing it or they may be hiding for a long time and finally they're going to express it to you this is someone who's in love with you like deeply deeply in love with you or will love you deeply this is the love that is unconditional i'm not feeling any baggage it's like both people there's a two people who are ready for this love this is this is two people i feel like you both are single by the way it does not have to be because i have we have the emperor so they could be a single parents or you could be are you both are parents a single parents or does not have to be because i'm seeing single people here with the magician and the high priestess you both are singles or virgins for some of you if you're a female watching this so this is your divine counterpart and i feel like this is your divine counterpart yes uh and we have the lovers and the emperor this could be your divine masculine your soulmate your your twin flame or your divine counterpart this is a very heavy masculine or feminine coming in your life your opposite your opposite whoever you are attracting you know better your life 
you know better your gender I, i'm not asking anything it's a gender free reading but whoever you're attracting and whoever you're interested in this is your opposite so with the magician uh sorry with the emperor and lover this is your divine masculine this is someone who is going to stay with you forever um this person is also going to make you pregnant for some of you if you're virgin you're going to get pregnant by this person are you going to be a mother with this person child eight of wands oh my god a lot of passion a lot of excitement there's a lot of conversation happening this could be you're meeting this person online on internet you're starting something new on internet if you're starting a new business or job um on internet or you could be a healer or intuitive tarot reader or, or someone who's a public speaker or something so i feel like you're going to attract this person by doing that so definitely put yourself on a public on social media or start something on internet if you're doing that or you could be a youtuber a blogger or something and this person is going to watch you this person is definitely going to watch you somewhere and they're going to reach out to you they're going to be like she's the one or he's the one for me with the queen of wands you're very very attractive in this person's eyes i feel like this person putting you on pedestal they feel like you're everything but you could be with the nine of swords i feel like insecure about your beauty or you could be insecure about yourself but this person is going to make you realize like no you are complete you're definitely you don't you should not worry about yourself like this person definitely know everything about you or they want to know everything about you wow this is like a secret lover or if you're already dealing with your divine masculine your soulmate you're coming into union with this person clock yeah oh my god it's all about divine timing here it's, it's it's manifesting guys it's manifesting time to heal progress yeah i feel like you could be seeing that things are not working but no it's working you need to heal your heart i i almost said that okay you your manifestations are working your spell is working if you're putting the spell on someone i am almost getting like a royalty vibe from this person like a leo with the queen of wands so you, this is you showing up here if, especially if you're a leo woman watching this video oh my god this person is into you like they feel like you're the goddess they never saw someone beautiful attractive and it's like they feel like you're out of this world coffin rest in peace so a lot of you you could be coming out of a relationship or they could be there is a this could be a someone coming from the past but i'm not feeling it sorry i'm feeling this is a brand new person this is a very fresh energy for two people who are ready to meet on the divine timing we have a hands of a card a lot of options and choices take a chance take a risk yeah for some of you this is a very risky connection because i feel there could be there could be some type of um red flag in the beginning maybe but there's a with the coffee and i'm getting new beginning here look at this i'm not saying this is someone coming from the past i'm getting new beginning growth and change in your life the green reaper strong scorpio coming in your life or popping up into your life but this could be again talking about the relationship is over some of you you're coming out of a marriage or relationship it's done it's finished you're co completing it you're done no second chances to the past because now you have options you're taking a risk and taking a leap of faith towards a new person yeah i like you this is someone oh my god soulmate engagement ring i told you you have a strong potential and future commitment or marriage with this person i i'm already predicting a future marriage with this person and this could be someone who was running from you from commitment or marriage and coming back to you does not have to be because i feel this is someone who is your soulmate and you are mean to be together in each other's life okay and this person is going to express it like they like you because i feel this person is putting the spell on you you both are you both you both are liking each other this is like a new beginning it's like attraction from both sides but it's like nobody's making a move here but i feel like finally this person with the hand of cards is going to take a risk and tell you that they like you because this person could have a fear of you know like you're going to reject them or maybe this is about you but this is a brand new person like this is your future marriage future commitment this is your future love i feel like this person or for some of you you're already talking to this person and the fire and the attraction is from both sides so congratulations this is your reading i will see you in the next video bye god bless you all